Welcome to Los Angeles. Welcome to the new Tycon Sport Turismo GTS. We're going to have a quick chat about that. And uh, yeah, welcome to the start of our coverage of the crazy LA Auto Show. We're going to be putting EVs up on this channel over the next few days, taking you on a tour of all the crazy launches that are going to happen. So stay tuned. But we're starting with this, the Tycon Sport Turismo GTS. <laughs> This is, I think, like my ultimate dream car, if I'm honest. This is, you know, you guys know we love Tycon on this channel. Tom just put up his range test earlier today uh, and a charging test, and he's like, he is in love with Tycon. I'm in love with Tycon. And the reason is mostly because it charges so fast, it drives so well, and it looks amazing. So it kind of like hits all the points that, you know, a general EV car enthusiast would be into. Let's hit you know, sort of the specs on this car right off the bat. Everything from normal Tycons pretty much here. So you have the 93.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, mid 80 kilowatt hour ish usable. Uh, price tag on the GTS trims 133.3 uh, starting for the wagon version. You can also get the GTS trim in a sedan. I'll explain what GTS means here in a second. Um, you know, of course it, it comes with three years of Electrify America, 30 minute fast charging, everything you would expect, everything's the same. The interior space is the same as Tycon Cross Turismo. We've reviewed this general car on this channel many times, so you can see trunk space is relatively the same. But the big difference is, join me up this way, right up here and down the whole side of the car. First off, this thing's sitting low, nice. It also doesn't have the plastic, so what's up with that? When Porsche launched the long roof version of this car, they said, we want to make it adventure off-roady or just more comfortable for dirt road areas. And we've actually been off-roading in these cars. If you tune into our weekly Inside EVs podcast every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, little plug, uh, you'll hear about all of our off-roading ex excursions in Tycon. Well, uh, people like me exist where we want like the wagon, but also to go as fast as possible and to like handle as well as possible. So a la Sport Turismo. Now, Sport Turismo is not necessarily new for Porsche. There was a Panamera Sport Turismo. Cross Turismo was a new model line. And so now we're kind of coming full circle when this is the car I have been waiting for for a long time. So it has the same suspension as the sedan model Taycan, which means it sits lower than Cross Turismo. Uh, and it's the GTS trim, which just to walk you through the model lineup is like right in between 4S and Turbo. So now in terms of Porsche, Tycon world that goes rear wheel drive, four cross Turismo, 4S, GTS, Turbo, and then Turbo S. And that's the full model range. And the GTS gets a lot of the sporty bits as standard. This is really meant to be the enthusiast choice, I think, especially in the wagon form. And I think the ultimate electric car on sale, in my opinion, at this moment, just the coolest thing ever. So obviously I'm fangirling over here. This is wild, <laughs> but let me walk you through some of the GTS stuff. So 133 uh, base price, of course, GTS is gonna give you a ton of sporty options as standard. So Porsche calls this option Sport Chrono, which allows you to change the drive modes on the steering wheel. It will also give you a Sport Plus for enhanced cooling, slams the suspension down, stiffens up the dampers. It should handle really well in theory. In terms of powertrain, you take a turbo drivetrain and then tune it down a little bit. So this isn't a 4S being pushed to its limits, it's a turbo being detuned. For an electric car, that's really important because that means increased thermal longevity on track. So if you're shredding this thing around all day, you have the cooling systems, you have the larger rear motor to dissipate heat from the turbo, and yeah, that's gonna help a lot because we've had Tycon on the Nürburgring and we were able to get it hot. So, and that was a turbo, non-turbo S. Um, Back here is where most of your power is gonna come. So the front motor is purely supplementary, which means you should be a little drifty in the corners as well. Like I said, ultimate enthusiast spec right here. I think it looks amazing. I think it's priced really well. Of course, you can go crazy with the options, but I think it comes with all, a lot of the sporty stuff you would want. Torque vectoring, for example, the Sport Chrono option I mentioned. Uh, it's three and a half seconds, zero to 60, both for sedan and wagon, 590 horsepower with launch control. That's of course with a warm battery, fully charged. You guys know the drill. And um, I don't think it gets any cooler than a fast wagon that's electric. All that's really missing are my dogs in the back of this thing and to be shredding up a canyon road. So you guys let me know, what do you think of the Tycon GTS 
I love it. <laughs> See you on the next one.